Greetings, Reapers. And when I was a child, I was terrified of lightning. The way the thunder exploded and shut down the power in our house gave me the creeps. But the way I got over it was to understand it. So hopefully learning about what lightning is through this video will help anyone that still fears it. Now, lightning is a powerful burst of electricity that happens very quickly during a thunderstorm. It's caused by an electrical charge in the atmosphere that is unbalanced. What happens is, the movement of rain and ice inside a thundercloud creates an electrical charge with the negative charge, electrons, forming at the bottom of the cloud and the positive charge, protons, forming at the top. Since opposites attract, the negative charge at the bottom of the cloud seeks out a positive charge to connect with. Now, lightning can occur inside clouds, between clouds, and from clouds to the ground. In fact, around one quarter of lightning is from the cloud to the ground. When lightning strikes the ground, it seeks out the shortest route to something with a positive charge. This might be a tree, a tall building, or if they're very unlucky, a person. And sadly, thousands of people are struck by lightning every year, and a direct strike is usually fatal. The lightning can reach temperatures of 30,000 Kelvins. Now, to make a direct comparison just to show you how hot that is, the surface of the sun is just about 6,000 Kelvins. So yeah, that's incredible heat. Plus, a single stroke of lightning has 125 million volts of electricity, which is enough to run a 100 watt light bulb for more than three months. And lightning doesn't just occur in rainstorms. Volcanic eruptions, dust and snowstorms, forest fires and tornadoes can also produce lightning. You may be surprised to know that there are bolts of lightning striking somewhere on Earth every second, but fear not, because here are a few ways to protect yourself. If you're outside, keep an eye on the weather. If the skies start to get dark and you see flashes of light and increasing winds, or even if you hear thunder, find shelter indoors or in a car. Never stand under a tree or in water. And you should also avoid sheds, picnic areas, baseball dugouts, and bleachers. And if you're caught in a storm and can't get to any kind of shelter, put your feet as close together as possible and crouch down with your head as low as possible without touching the ground. By making your body as low to the ground as possible and minimizing the amount of contact your body has with the ground, you will lessen the risk of a lightning-related injury. And for heaven's sake, don't take a bath or shower during a storm. Lightning can strike a house and pass an electrical charge to the home's plumbing. But thankfully, this threat has been lessened somewhat in recent years because PVC pipe is often used for indoor plumbing instead of metal. Well, that's all for me today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Reaper Legion Network. And as always, please, geek responsibly.